Hello, welcome to the Virtual Beach video tutorial series. These tutorials were created with the support of both the University of Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute and the Great Lakes Observing System. My name is Sonia and I will be leading these tutorials. At the website virtualbeach.org, you will find all of the video tutorials, many helpful hints, and links to data sources. The 3.0.6 version of the Virtual Beach software will be used in these tutorials. Download These tutorials are intended to walk you through the Virtual Beach software that was created by the US EPA. Virtual Beach is a predictive modeling program that can assist managers in making advisory decisions at fresh and saltwater beaches. With this software, beach managers can create models to predict bacteria levels at a beach. This tutorial, Building and Evaluating Anytime GPM Models, walks you through the third of six modules demonstrating how to use the Virtual Beach software. If you have not completed the second tutorial, Data Preparation GBM, complete that module first. You need to use the project file created in that module for this current tutorial. Detailed directions for this module are available at virtualbeach.org in the training section. Under the subheading, Virtual Beach Step-by-Step -Step Training Modules, select the Building and Evaluating Anytime GBM Models. Either open the PDF on your computer or print it so you can follow along with these instructions. By the end of this module, you should be able to build and evaluate an Anytime GBM model, optimize a GBM model by removing variables, view a GBM model with the Prediction tab, Import historical data to validate your models. Now you will build and evaluate an anytime GBM model. Open the file saved at the end of the Virtual Beach Data Prep GBM module. The recommended file name was VB Blue Harbor Data Prep GBM. In the Global Data Sheet tab, click the Go to Model icon. Now three tabs corresponding to each model Virtual Beach can create are available. Click on the GBM tab. A copy of the main data table labeled Data Manipulation will open. You can manipulate the data specifically for the GBM model in this tab without affecting the global data sheet. Click the Variable Selection subtab. Under Available Variables in the left panel, select all independent variables by clicking the first variable, Quarter Season, holding down the Shift key. Scroll to the bottom of the list and then click the last variable, diff trib max 24 trib min 24. Click the right arrow button to move the selected variables to the right hand panel. In this example, you should end up with 100 independent variables. Again, GBM is a nonlinear technique. It is a decision tree that makes binary decisions, so even if variables are closely correlated, the GBM model will not be over influenced by the interaction. Additionally, if transformations or interactions are important, GBM will find them and use them for you. To run your GBM model, open the Model tab. For your same model to match the model demonstrated here, check the box next to Select Seed Value. Enter the number 1 in the box. Virtual Beach uses a random number generator to produce numbers for creating models. By setting the seed value to the same number, the analysis can be reproduced by others. Click the Run button. The process should not take more than two to three minutes. Under Model Evaluation Threshold, 235 is automatically entered for the regulatory standard. This represents the common U.S. EPA standard of 235 colony forming units of E. coli for issuing a swim advisory. A line graph shows true positives, correctly predicted exceedances, in blue, and true negatives, correctly predicted non-exceedances, in yellow. Now, we will optimize the GBM quickly and effectively to either increase or maintain the model's predictive power by reducing the number of variables included. Under the Model Summary subtab, scroll to the bottom of the Variables list. This list is ordered by these variables' relative influence on the response variable. Select the bottom 10% or 10 variables in this case. 
Click the Drop Variables icon. Click the Run icon. Continue to remove the next 10% least influential variables to generate new models. Click the Variable Selection sub-tab if you need to see how many variables were used in the previous model before clicking the Drop Variables icon. In this example, you will run the model next with 81 variables, then 73 variables, then 66, then 59, 53, 48, 43, and finally, 39 variables. Increase the decision criterion by clicking on the right arrow button under the graph. This will move the vertical line to the right, which will in turn affect the model's sensitivity and specificity. Keep clicking the right arrow button until you have achieved a sensitivity slash specificity balance as close to 50% slash 90% as possible. In this example, a criterion value of approximately 69 CFUs results in a sensitivity of 0.53, specificity of 0.9, and an overall accuracy of roughly 0.85. Click on the Prediction tab. Under Available Models, click GBM. The model equation is displayed and a row of blank cells appears under Predictive Record. The decision criterion set during the GBM model building and optimization is not useful for beach decisions since it isn't a whole number. For easier interpretation, change the value to the closest multiple of 5 or 10. In this example, 70 is the decision criteria that produce the best sensitivity and specificity. Model equation. The text box at the top center of the prediction tab contains the mathematical expression of the selected model. In the case of GBM models, there are no coefficients. Predictive record. The bottom half of the prediction tab is the predictive record. Each row represents a unique date and time for which field observations and or remotely measured data will be entered for each explanatory variable in the model. Then the response variable of E. coli and the probability of exceeding the established decision criterion will be predicted. Next, import a historical data table to validate your model. On the prediction tab, click the import combined icon. Navigate to the Excel file VB Training GBM. Click Open. Select GBM Validation Data 2016 and click OK. If this is the first time these data have been imported into the Prediction tab, the Column Mapper window will open. Imported variables must have the same name of their corresponding variable in the model. You must map or match these variables. Since you are using data collected by the same entity, just from a later date, all variable names match. Click OK. The explanatory variables, or independent variables, should now be in the left-hand panel. The E. coli values should be in the middle panel. Click the Make Predictions icon. The back cast predictions are in log scale in the right panel. Right-click on the top of the Model Prediction column and choose None to the right of Display Transform to make the E. coli prediction appear on a non-log scale. Right-click and drag on the solid blue section separators to enlarge the width of the prediction panel and reduce the width of the independent variable panel. To evaluate performance visually and numerically, click the Plot icon. A plot of observed E. coli values on the x-axis versus predicted E. coli values on the y-axis appears. The decision criteria, horizontal blue line in this example, is 70 CFU, and the regulatory standard, vertical green line, is 235. Hover the mouse over an individual point on the scatter plot to view its associated date and time. In this example, with 28 observations, there were no false negatives, missed exceedances, resulting in a sensitivity of NAM, meaning not a number, since there were no actual exceedances in the data set from the summer of 2016. There were four false positives, unnecessary advisories might have been issued, resulting in a specificity of 86%. The overall accuracy of correctly predicted positives and negatives was then 86% also. When you have completed your review, click Close to return to the predictive record. Adjust the width of columns in the various panels so you can more easily examine the daily results. 
Ideally, you will be able to view the observed E. coli in the middle panel and both exceedance probability and error type in the right panel. In this example, one incorrectly predicted exceedance has a 58.77% exceedance probability and another has an 88.96% exceedance probability. To export the predictive record for further analysis or further reference, click the Export as CSV icon. Name the file something like Validation 2016 Blue Harbor Beach GBM and click OK. CSV files can be opened directly in Excel and imported into various other analytical programs. Save the GBM model as a new project file by clicking the File tab and selecting Save As. Navigate to the directory where you plan to keep your model and save the project as a file with GBM in the title. This will capture all of the work that you have completed to this point. When you save the completed and validated Nowcast predictions, all of the input, output, and validation data are saved. When saving your model file, overwriting the existing file will not change the model. Instead, the new predictive records are simply added to the bottom of the chart. Updating and resaving model files is an effective way to track the performance of your Nowcast model over the course of a beach season. If the Nowcast proves to perform poorly, you can revisit this module to revise the Nowcast model. Now you can move on to the last module, Nowcast Predictions.